Hey guys, welcome to part two. I had this open the other day. I told you it was my very first journal ever. And it's pretty bad actually. There's a lot of bad, bad, bad pages in here. But it's how I started, so I'm going to keep it the way it is. I'm not going to go over anything and I'm going to love it. Because it should be loved. There's some blank pages. I'll fill those up. This side is really thick because um, there's a lot of layer and texture in there. I've got flowers in there. And this makes a cool background all by itself. Okay, I think that's all we're gonna do. Got your background started now. Okay, put this off the side. And get back to our regularly scheduled program. <laughs> all right, let's get an iCAD out here that we haven't used anything on and let's get the extra, a little bit more. See, this is kind of cool because you can take this you can get the black paint up that you were gonna throw away. And you've got a, there's a weed eater guy coming by so I don't know how loud it's gonna be in a minute. Um, you've got a little bit of black on your background here. And then you can come in and take one of your sprays. I don't know if this will work, we'll see. Some of my sprays are clogged, I haven't used them in so long. But you could take this one, let's do this. This rag could stand up on its own, it's so stiff. Even when I wash it, it's stiff. And you can just spray on your, your iPad and let that dry and you've got some background started. And let's bring in one more color. Let's bring in the orange. There. I mean, see how easy it is to start a background? Now you've got black paint, orange and yellow as a starter. And there you go. That's all you gotta do. Uh, where do I put it? <laughs> I don't have a place left to put anything. Will y'all hold that? <laughs> All right. All right, there we go. I could do black splatters on here when I might at the end, I don't know, but let's look at it closed. And it's still wet, so I gotta be careful. But there's that side, and that's so pretty. So pretty. Just really think that's pretty. Okay. I'm going to dry it a few minutes and then I'm going to come back and I will go the next step which I will figure out with you because I don't know what it's going to be yet. So a little more. Let's talk about our next step. What we have left here is right here and this is still something I'm not going to use yet. It's, I'm not ready to use that. So it has to stay over here. Um, we have the washi tape which you know I think I'll come in with that later. We have these doilies, which I should use now if I'm going to use them. And then the bags, which I think... Mm, I'm still not sure if I want to use those. I may save them for putting inside the envelope and making a little something, maybe a little book or something. I don't know. I haven't decided. So I need to decide what I'm going to do with these okay. for my husband. So we were discussing kombucha. Kombucha, kombucha, something like that, some drink. Anyway, um, as I was sitting here looking at this, I was looking at the colors and I was thinking how pretty this, just seems so pretty to me. Um, I, I don't know, French kind of looking maybe, I don't know. Are these French colors, Sylvia? You have to tell me. Anyway, as I was looking at it, I was trying to figure out the next step and I know that I'm gonna use these next, the doilies. And, but before I do, because um, I have to make a decision about the coloring and stuff, 
I was looking at these black marks, and although I love them, I was thinking, you know, I want to add to the black marks. So I'm going to take my white poster paint pen, make sure this is dry, and I'm just going to come in and I'm going to go around the black with some swirly, squiggly, some lines like this, as you see me doing it. And I'm only going where the black is, kind of back and forth. Oop, that one wasn't ready, but it came off fast. That was still not dry. Sorry, pen. I hope I didn't ruin you. Let's see. I'm going to make the pen work again. But I have nothing around me that I can write on that's... Well, it's coming out of color. You made a mistake. All right, let me fix this and y'all wait for your paint to dry before you go on. Oh, there we go. Now it's working. Okay. I really didn't want to go in the paint. I just kind of wanted to go around it. If it went in the paint, that's fine, but I don't want the paint to be wet. You know, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Thank you, pen. You're a good pen. All right. Now the next step. I want to use these, but I don't want to use them like they are. So I want to either put white gesso on them. So it takes, oh, there's more. Oh, okay, good. Um, I either want to put white gesso on them to tone down the brightness of this, or I want to put a color on here or a spray. And a spray is going to uh, run if I don't use one that's permanent and I don't have one that the color that I want So I was thinking maybe I'll use this red again. I really like this red On some of these and then push it back with the white and then maybe bring in some of the pieces I want to take this one and cut it in half and I want to put half pieces around Possibly and I want to save this one because I think I might use it in conjunction with these but I'm not sure for sure. Um, and the iCAD's gonna get one, like part of one here or here. So I'm gonna keep you in mind. I keep forgetting you. I see I didn't even do the white pen on you. He's off to the side and I forget about him. Okay, done. So let me think about this a minute and I'll come back and tell you what I decided. I decided really fast. I'm going to take this paint, distress paint, and I'm going to paint these. And then I'm going to take my white gesso and push the paint back, sort of like we did here, because I really like this look here. So I'm hoping that that works. If not, I'm going to paint over it in white. And I'm just going to do one small one, because if I mess it up, then I'll just use the small one on my iPad there. And let's get our gesso ready. And I don't know if I want to just put this on like this. Yeah. I was going to put some on the mat and then paint with it, but I'll just do this. And I think this is permanent. I don't think this will run when you add uh, liquid like water or other paints to it. I don't think because it's a distressed paint. I can't remember doesn't say so we'll know in a minute I really like this color red I think it's it's called fired red or fired brick and it's okay if you don't get all the doily covered because we are going to bring white in so it really won't matter so I'm going to dry this a little bit and then I'll come back Okay, dry enough. Take a little bit of the white gesso. And let's push it back like this. Still needs a little more, I think. Oh, 
Okay, let's dry that and see what we like, if we like it or not. I took this and I held it up here to see how I would like it. So I'm pretending this is pretty much done and I've taken maybe a piece of this and added it to the side. And I do like it, um, but I have decided I'm only going to paint one or, uh, one or two of these red with the white pushing in the red in the background. And I'm going to paint the other ones just white gesso. I think that's what I'm going to do. So let's do that for right now. Get some white gesso out and start painting. Okay. You know what I could do is paint this on the iCAD and then this will be like a stencil. Stencil work like that. Maybe I will on the next one. Let's see. Where's my book? Let's get my notebook. find one. This one's got all kinds of junk on it. I don't know which way's up or down there. There we go. See what happens. Okay, well I didn't do a lot, but you know what? I do like the additional white on the page, so we're gonna do the other one. That one did a little better. It's kind of cool looking. Okay, and let's do the heart. We'll do it on another. We'll do it on the iCAD maybe. Let's do this one on here. Holes are so tiny, it probably won't do much. Now what I want to do is I'm going to take this one here and I'm just going to wipe up the excess paint just so. Okay. Now I'm going to dry those and I will come back. Okay. The next step is to apply these in different areas on my folder and I don't want to forget and add a little piece to my iCAD. So and the red one I'm not sure I want to use a lot of it because I think it's just too much red. I would paint it but I'm going to leave it because I do want a little bit of red. So. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my collage page and this is gonna go on the back somewhere. So on the front, I'm gonna take my collage page and I'm gonna adhere one to this, the bottom
about right there. And when I get through adding these, probably I'm going to go over the whole thing with collage page and seal it. So then anything else I do on top, if I need to remove it, I can. off. Okay. Let's take a look. Probably going to need a little bit underneath here. Yeah. And I'm trying to avoid getting the two stuck together, the two, um, the front and back stuck together because I'm not ready to do that yet. I haven't even decided if I'm really going to or not. So I'm trying to be careful. And that needs a little bit more underneath, but I'm not going to deal with it right now. All right. So the next thing, let's add another piece on the front. Maybe... right there Bailey is snoring. I don't know if you hear her or not. these to the, um, the folder in different areas and I'll come back to you in a second. Step. I left I left this one here on the back attached because I wasn't sure if I wanted to cut it off or fold it over and I think I want to fold it over but first what I want to do is I want to cover this area that's being shown with this washi tape that she sent and I'm going to do that Let's see, maybe I should do it this way. Just have to make sure and do it that way. This washi tape is on the roll, awkward. Usually when the washi tape peels off, at least in my experience, the image that, or the design is facing you. But in this case, when I pull it off, it's upside down. So it actually works better for me if I turn the envelope or the folder upside down and work this way. I don't know. No, it doesn't really work better that way. Yes, it does work better that way because now the design will be facing the way I need it. Anyway, I'm going to put some glue down to help the washi tape adhere and stay down. And we're just going to start. Um, 
Where do we need to start? About right there. About right there. So let's put a line of glue. And a line of tape. Probably down a little farther than we need, but that's okay. And another line of glue. I'm not lining it up perfectly. I'm just getting it on there so that it's... I am lining up the tape so it's uh, touching, but I'm not lining up the design on the tape, I should say. Okay. And then I'm going to glue that down over the washi tape. I debated on doing it the opposite, where the washi tape was on top of this, but I decided not to. back and do a line of glue on top of the washi tape so that it stays really well or I might do collage page on it but I haven't made up my mind about that right now I just want to get it down here and trimmed so let's trim off our excess all right. Get a little iCAD. All right, now we need to push this back some. It won't be seen, much of it won't be seen, but it's a little too bright right now. dry this and get everything organized in my head and I'll come taking back. the label for the uh, the mailing label off of the package that she sent her mail in it's the, um, the well basically the stamp so it's not really a label but it's ha it's I'm having trouble getting it off the paper I'm very distracted I'm sorry <laughs> I'm thinking about um, a phone call anyway um, it's having trouble getting off the paper, so I'm just taking my heat gun and I'm just heating the label underneath a little bit and then peeling a little bit. And I thought I would share that with you. I'm sure that many of you already know 
stuff like this, but some of you may not. So I'm just sharing it with you. If you work slowly and gently, you can get your label all the way off. But I already started peeling from the other side. And so my label is torn already over here. So I'm just gonna try and get that up without tearing it even more, but I probably won't be able to. Cause I was impatient and I started on the other end first. But anyway, that's what I wanted to tell you guys real quick. And so let me finish getting this off. Now I'll just do it this way. Tear the package. Okay. I want the whole label. That's why I tore it. Went ahead and tore it off. Um, what I want to do is I'm going to put it up here. In this little area here that you would put the name or whatever it is that's being filed it doesn't have her name on it but I'll know who it's from because I'm going to mark it somewhere else. So I'm going to figure out a way. And this is not on there perfectly. It, it tore, so, you know, I'm just working with it the best I can. If I had done the melting or heating the label technique before I started ripping, it would have been fine, but I didn't, so that's okay. Okay, now we're good. I'm still going to take a little bit of my gesso and kind of blend it in like it belongs there, like everything else has been done. Okay, now to decide what to do to the front. One more thing I do want to do is I'm going to bring in my brown, um, I was going to use my Tim Holtz Distress um, ink pad but because it's not permanent I decided to use the stays on timber brown and I'm just going to go through and hopefully everything's dry enough I'm going to go through and kind of do a little bit of um, distressing see if I can dull some things down a little bit and I was going to kind of mm, <laughs> let's do the back it's going to Play a little bit on the back and see if I could tone it down some. The white mainly. I'm liking that. Okay, here's the back, and we'll compare it to the front. Oop. And there's the front. So I do like bringing the brown in, that's very pretty. So we're going to do them on the front too. to do is decide what I want to do to the front and if I want to go ahead and seal the sides. So I need to think about that for a minute and I'll come back and share with you what I decide. And at the point where I don't know I might mess this whole thing up but I'm gonna try something else. I'm gonna paint the heart here. I'm gonna paint it burnt umber. Americana paint. I don't know if there's enough in here to do it. We'll see. Probably not. We'll see what we get. Kind of wanted a really dark brown, but this is probably dark enough. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. 
let's dry that and I'll be right back. What I'll do is take these little flowers that she sent me that were in this little pouch with the butterflies. And I'm going to dab this red paint. It's fire brick distress paint like I used on the folder. I'm gonna dab this on and see if I like it. I do like it. I just don't know if I'm gonna like it with the other stuff I've got going on. The envelope or the folder is rather busy, so I don't know if anything I do is gonna look good on there. I may should not use any more of the, the uh, items that she sent on this. I may should use them on other projects, but I have to at least try. So we're going to try. gonna dry that and I will okay. <clears throat> the next thing I'm gonna do is stamp on top of those flowers with my black stays on and my distress um, stamp Okay, that's good enough. And then I'm going to glue those onto the getting tired. What is this called? This thing here? The doily. <laughs> I'm going to glue it onto the doily. And also, I haven't done any more to this. I did do the black, I mean the brown rubbing on here, but I haven't added anything else. And I can't because I don't have any more heart and I don't want to put uh, any of this heart on here. And I'm going to use all the flowers on here, so I'm not going to put any flowers, but I will probably come back and do one of the butterflies. So... Um, let me grab my glue. I haven't used this in a while. It's got stuff all around it. There we go. Now I have to decide what to do with the folder. And I still can't decide if I want to close it up or not. But I'm going to go ahead and put this on top here because I know where I want to put it. And the way I decided that is I put it in different areas and took pictures. And I will show you the three that I am choosing from. There's this one here where the heart is up top and the little sign is dangling down from it. Then there's this one where the heart's in the corner at the bottom and the sign or tag is up here just laying across the top. And then there's this one where the heart is at the bottom and the little tag is hanging down on the side. Now 
they all appeal to me, but when I look at this one for some reason, and this is just me because of who I am, but it reminds me of a little flower pot. Like, if I put this down here like this, and I put this up here, and it can be off-centered if you want, it doesn't have to be centered, and just kind of glue it right there. It looks like a little flower pot with something growing out of it. I, and I know it's not. It just, it reminds me of that. It gives me that feeling. And on the back of this tag, she wrote, Happy birthday, sweet Laurie. Love, Sylvia. So if I leave it dangling, then I'll know, you know, who gave me this. I'll remember it that way. And if I glue it down, then I'm still going to put something in here that will remind me, um, probably her address, the little... Thing that came off the envelope that has her name and address will go in here somewhere maybe glued inside i'm thinking of leaving this open and just being able to slip papers in it i've got a a bunch of printouts that i just threw over there that i need to have a place to put so maybe i'll put them in here but i think that's what i'm going to do the only thing i can't decide is if i want to go off center or not you know and maybe write something down here but this says celebrate the day so i don't think i'm going to write anything so let's just go center. Let's just go right there. And I'm going to um, use my uh, deco page to put this on because I want to do the top also. And then this is going to go on second and, and differently. So I'll have to tell you what I do when I get to that point. So. And I was going to take the background and push it back a little more. And I still might. But I can go ahead and put this on before I do. It'll be all right. And let's just go ahead and decide it's going to be right, right there. These are probably still drying on here, so I have to be careful. Because do I wait for things to dry? No, I don't. Probably should. Sometimes I have to, sometimes I do, but only when I have to. And if you are skipping through the video and you're not watching all the way through and you miss some parts of it, this is a reminder to tell you that this is a project created from Happy Mail sent to me. So it's not like I sat down and said, oh, I've got these things, I'm going to use them um, to make this. I received these things and then I sat down and said what can I do with them what can I make from them? make from them and this is what I'm coming up with so far so okay that's on now and I do like it I still like the background I don't think I need to push it back anymore uh, I still might the verdict is still out I don't know yet now what I need to do is decide how I'm going to attach this. Am I going to let this flop loose and glue this really good to the tip here and let it flop and be able to read, be able to read the back or am I going to glue it down so it doesn't move and it stays just like this so when you open the folder it doesn't move. The first thing I'm going to do is glue it down this way right here. I can come back and do this in a minute, but I want to get this glued down, the um, jute, so it can be drying, and then I'll make my decision. And I'm using a thicker glue for this because I want it to be really secure in case I don't come off, in case I don't um, glue down the whole thing. This one here, like this. Okay. Now, while that's drying, oops, I'm gonna put a little bit more glue around it just to give it extra security. It'll dry clear.
This is the 450 quick dry adhesive by Helmar, in case you're wondering. Okay, now that has to dry. And another reason why I'm not sure about pushing this back is because this is so white that it kind of offsets everything. So I may just leave it like this. I just kind of like it. Now I have to decide, do I want it to swing loose or not? And I'm gonna go on, um, go off camera for a minute and find those papers that I told you I wanted to store in here and see how I like it before I decide if I'm gonna close this off or not.